<laughs> Greetings. This is Robert Forsh with the truth about everything. You want to go ahead and put my name in a Google search? Find a lot of mind blowing content guaranteed. I want to talk about inevitability. When something is going to happen, even though there's a lot of opposition to it, it's going to happen anyway. Imagine if you were playing a, a game or you were in control ultimately of the outcome regardless of what all the other players thought they were deciding to do. What if they were actually being influenced by you for your ultimate predetermined outcome? That is the doctrine of election and we're looking at predestination. It's the reality that the true creator is large and in charge. There's the illusion of free will as best I can understand. In the biblical doctrine of election, predestination, determinism, the elect, all of those different terminologies, I'm wanting you to consider what they actually mean to your reality and is what you actually is what you believe to be true actually true. I asked myself the same question, and since I can be deceived, I asked God to help me know what the truth is about everything. Everything of significance. The research library that I put together is on multiple platforms, and it's linked with my name and my phone number. I get amazing phone calls from people from all over the world any time of the day or night including texts that help me to understand some of the details that maybe I had missed, some of the information that's out there. Right now in uh, human history, there's about 500 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every minute. How much of that is actually true? Not sure. I can't look at it all, it's an impossibility. So I've got friends and family all over this world that help share information and vet or consider it, and then they'll send it to me. It's a filtering process. I call it the truth network, the truth about everything. So right now I'm here at the Prince Resort near the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier in South Carolina. The topics that I cover on the Truth Channel and the Truth Network, as I call it, is vast. It's information about everything that really matters. So the short answer is the truth matters. Some people just don't have an appetite for it. Their appetite may be for more distraction and Unfortunately for them, there's a tremendous amount of deception that they'll find with that distraction. It's intentionally designed that way. So there's a lot of truth in the movies. In some contexts, it may be hidden in there. It may be a whole bunch of entertainment and a huge truth drop in a movie. And then in the corporate controlled mainstream media, there's a lot of deception intentionally. They want you to believe what they tell you to believe is true, is factual. Problem with that is this, uh, is, this battle is being waged largely in how would I say the perception? So the system of control of this world alters the perception or presents the perception they want to be perceived and believed. 
The question that I would have everybody ask, is it actually true? Whatever it is that you want to know about, is it factual or is it something else? Perhaps your own wishful thinking or even mine. So I've got so many powerful, thoughtful commentaries and presentations of information that are going to provide opportunity, food for thought. Food for thought is not just an idea, it's also nutrition, healthy nutrition and a, a clarity of perception based on a lack of toxification. And the most important resource to draw on is the Most High, the Almighty, the true creator. He takes up residence in all of his children at some point in our human experience. That information is vital because it means that people that are viewed by the world as an underdog or stupid or crazy can be indwelt by the Holy Spirit and totally changed. And they may still be viewed as crazy and stupid by the world that doesn't realize that they've been activated with the power of the Spirit and actually are proclaiming the truth. Like me. <laughs> I've got a friend who called me yesterday. She's, uh, she's physically blind and yet she can see through the deception by the power of the Spirit. I asked her if I could share that with y'all. I had a, another call from a young man who found my phone number in his biology class. And that phone number that I showed you gets passed all around. Had a, one of my commenters said I was in Northern California and I found it on a, on a recycling center. I've been recycled. I've been made new in Christ. The old me is gone. I'm so grateful for that. So there's a lot of world events going on right now that are going to have eternal uh, consequences. And yet God, the true creator, the living word, the great I am, the Alpha and Omega, knowing the end from the beginning, the living word, the living water, he is all powerful and all knowing. That's why I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth, because he's in charge of what will happen. So those that have appeared to be enemies of, of his, the Most High, can be totally transformed and made new when his spirit takes up residence in them, like the Gadarene de demoniac in the Gospel of Matthew. I believe the Bible is God's word and it's true. And it's been manipulated uh, by organized uh, attempts to distort it. The Catholic Church would be a great example of a distortion of the true message of the scripture. This is a liquid mirror out here. People reflect off of it, reflect on their lives, past, present, future. It's a tapestry of light, color, lives. It's amazing. So I encourage everybody to seek the truth with all your heart because it matters for eternity. You can call or text me anytime. Feel free to reach out with information you believe would be helpful for me to consider. There is a great awakening happening and it's one that the Most High is causing to happen. He's removing the veil from his children 
to help to help us see what's going on and to share that with anybody who will listen and even those who don't he's still in charge of the outcome that's the wonderful reality he's in charge of what ultimately will happen and how this all turns out and that's why i'm so grateful to be alive at such a time as this this is robert forsh with the truth about everything thank you so much